That's why we're having these, these meetings. That's why we continue to receive feedback. We want to know how do you utilize the park? That's Margaret Brasco with Louisville Metro Parks tonight as the conversation continued this evening. Reopening Iroquois and Cherokee, Cherokee Park roads to cars or continue to keep them out. This feedback session is part of a community conversation they've been doing virtually. Since the start of the pandemic, both parks have been closed to traffic, giving more space for social distancing to walkers and joggers. Now, since the vaccine is available, some are asking if the park road should be reopening. Brosco says the final decision is still months away. It is certainly a hot debate, and the night team's Heather Fountain is joining us live right now from Cherokee Park, where she's been hearing both sides about the removal of those barricades. Heather? That's right, Doug. Reaction seems to be pretty split from people I've talked to both on and off camera. Let me show you what we're talking about. You see these barriers? You can find them all around Cherokee Park, blocking traffic to get to that scenic route loop. They've been doing this for exactly a year now, but will they stay forever? We're talking to folks that are weighing in with the pros and cons. As the sun shines down on Louisville, these joggers and dog walkers are enjoying the fresh air. But here at Cherokee Park, drivers have to do just that. The roads blocked since April 8th, 2020, exactly one year ago. I think to stay closed, I think that would be great just to have a place to like retreat for some silence. Melody Friesen says she's felt closer to nature since cars have been kept from these curvy roads. I can definitely hear some, you know, little birds and insects that I haven't heard before. Others agree it's felt safer. Before it was very much like stay on the side and then the corners definitely can be a little abrupt sometimes so you don't know who, what's around it, but this is perfect like it is. A popular opinion, according to a survey from Louisville Parks and Recreation, nearly 70% of people out of more than 7,000 said they'd be in favor of a permanent closure of the scenic route to vehicle traffic in Cherokee Park. The longer it's been without the cars, it's been just really nice to have more people frequenting and then more kids can just run around dogs too, I think, without the fear of cars. But Marcellus Mays with the Metro Disability Coalition calls it another barrier for persons with disabilities that further isolates folks during this pandemic. A lot of us have mobility issues, so many of us are in wheelchairs and myself, I'm visually impaired and so I would have to have somebody to assist me. He says it would be hard for persons with disabilities to enjoy the park in its entirety if traffic was stopped for good. There are places some folks can only access in a vehicle. That's really unreasonable to think that you might have to have a person to walk a mile or uh, so up a hill, it's not like both Iroquois and Cherokee are flat areas. As the debate continues, maybe compromise is key. Finding a good balance for that, this would be perfect. If, if you had to close it a couple of days rather than all seven days would be uh, a more reasonable uh, approach to take. Timeline on when a decision will be made, but we expect answers in the coming weeks, maybe months. Reporting live from Cherokee Park for the night team, I'm Heather Fountaine.